Hi everyone, welcome to Mathematics Parsala. This is Norris. Today I will discuss this problem which came in CHR UGC net December 2023 in part B. This question from real analysis. Let's see the question. Let fx be a cubic polynomial with real coefficient. Suppose that small fx has exactly one real root and that the root is simple. Which one of the following statement holds for all antiderivative capital Fx of small Fx? Okay. So what is given? Small Fx is a cubic polynomial. That means polynomial of degree 3. Capital Fx is the antiderivative of a small Fx. That means capital F dash X equal to a small Fx. From here, what we get? Capital Fx equal to integration over small Fx dx plus C, where C is indicating constant. Now, since a small Fx is a polynomial of degree 3, so capital Fx should be polynomial of what? Polynomial of degree 4. Because we are integrating the small fx, so it will be polymer of degree 4. Now, in option 1, what is said that fx has exactly one real root? Let's check, check C. What do we know that complex root, number of complex root, number of complex root of any equation should be even because if a plus ib is a root of any equation then the complex conjugate a minus ib also the root of this equation so number of complex root of any equation should be even so here the polynomial fx is poly degree polynomial of degree 4 so it have 4 root if the complex root are even the real root should be even okay if complex root even real root should be even in option 1 what is said fx has exactly one real root that is the odd it can't possible because fx has should be real number of uh, even number of real root so so option one should be false so in option two what is said fx has exactly four real root so we can we take an example a small fx equal to x into x square plus one here we can see that fx has a one real root x equal to 0 and that is also simple because not repeated root now capital fx should be integration over a small fx dx yet we take integrating constant as 0 so we get, will get x cube plus x dx so it will gives x4 by 4 x square by 2 okay now if i take x square by 4 common then we get x square plus 2 here we can see that capital fx have two real root x equal to 0 comma 0 that is repeated real root 0 0 so in option to what is it fx has exactly four real root we take an example and we get fx has two real root so that option should be false and in third option what is said fx has at most one real root maximum one deal we get uh, we take an example we get two real roots. so option four also false in third option what is said fx has at most two real roots. so this is question this is question from part b so one option should be true since one two four are false so three should be true now we can discuss option three in geometrical way what is basically said a small fx has one only one root only one real root that is given let's let's x equal to alpha be the root alpha be the root okay so f alpha equal to should be zero so then f dash alpha equal to what f dash alpha equal to a small f alpha that should be zero f dash alpha equal to 0 means what 
zero means f x has an extremum at x equal to alpha. Now, now x b x equal to alpha be the only real root. So f x has has should be only one extremum. So f x has only one extremum, and we let that is x equal to alpha x d at x equal to alpha point. Okay. Now extremum can be maximum or minimum. Extremum extremum can be maximum or minimum without loss of generality. We take f x as minimum at x equal to alpha. You can discuss for x equal to mini maximum at x equal to alpha. Similar way, we will discuss f x as capital f x as a minimum at x equal to alpha. So let's try to draw the curve. This is x-axis. This is y-axis. Let's see. This is x equal to alpha. X x equal to alpha should be parallel to y-axis. Now, if the curve, if the curve capital F X starts at x equal to, it will be look like this. If also it will be look like this. It can be look like this. So we just discuss the three possibility of capital F X. So this is the minimum point. This will be the minimum point. So here f dash alpha should be zero. This will be a minimum point. F dash alpha should be zero. This should be minimum point. F dash alpha equal to zero. Now we discuss for this. Now see this curve can cut x-axis in this way. Now. Now the curve after cutting x-axis, it can't come back to x-axis again. It can't come back to x-axis again. If if it come back to x-axis, since f x is continuous, so f the f x has at maximum at local maximum at this point. Okay. So if, since f x has only one extremum, so it can't come back to x axis again it, it can't come back to x axis again therefore for this point for the, this also it not come back to x axis again because it has only one extremum so for that reason it not come back to x axis after cutting x axis because it have only one extremum so in this case we get at most two maximum root it have x x maximum two roots in this case okay for the curve this for the curve this you can see that for the same reason f x has to uh, only one extremum it not come back to x axis again okay so it maximum possible maximum number of real root should be x equal to alpha because it touch at so x equal to alpha should be maximum real root and it maximum possibility it can be repeated so x equal to alpha alpha is the root so in this case number of real root also two number of real root also two in that case you can see that it can't touch x axis or can't cut can can't cut x axis for the same reason because f x has only man, only one extremum so it not come back to x axis so in that case f x have no no real root no real root so in these three cases what we get f x has maximum two real root so what is said in the third option f x has at most two real root so it is okay because we see that f x has maximum two real root so option three should be true thank you thank you for watching this video